Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Of course. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza. And no, not yet. But I have a lead. Good, I hope you find him. He seemed like a nice guy. You haven't heard from Reza again, have you? Sorry, girl. If he calls, I'll let you know. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it, ooh, just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen, feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. We're not open yet. If you want anything... Yeah? Thanks. Uh-huh. Surprise, she's back. So you need something? Thanks. All right, come again. Hi, Charlie. It's Zoe. Come on in. Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the hotel, room 201. I found it in the closet and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago. Yeah. I can't believe that graph would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room ten years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. Why? That name sounds very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. 
She still thinks April's alive and out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah, they were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years, and in April. Let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles. How did April disappear? Look, I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. I need to know, Charlie. I think there may be a connection between April Ryan and whatever Reza was investigating. What? Are you serious? This is going to sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things on screens back in Casablanca at, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case. But I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl. I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl, she speaks to me, directly to me, through the screen. Find her, save her. At first, that was all she said. And then, find April Ryan. Find April, save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first vac tracks or scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyst in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah, he's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway... Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm gonna go call Emma, and then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. everything. I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April, Ryan, but 
It is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. But she could be trying to get in touch with us. Charlie, maybe she needs our help. Maybe... Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry to ask, but... Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah. Yeah, I did. She disappeared under some very strange circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and... Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April, she made it out. And that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back together. And by the time we started looking for her again... April was gone. Vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe. You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait. April told you that she'd seen another dimension? Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds, and that she was needed. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one, Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. I never had reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us, she's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head and... I know, Charlie. Have some faith, okay? I know. I can feel it. I've done a lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best-kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy? Delusional? You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine? Ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse. Strange things, like like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back, everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me, I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. In Arcadia. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's say you're right. The messages I've been getting... You think that winter place is the parallel world April talked about? Arcadia? From what I know, it doesn't sound like Arcadia. But who knows? The question is, who's the little girl, and why is she trying to contact you? After all, you didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, you would never have recognized April's name. It seems improbable, I know, but... Reza is the link. The story he's working on must have something to do with all of this. It's the only explanation I can think of. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No, but with any luck I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back.
Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. I'm in... I met Charlie and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter and there was blood everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, you got yourself a VIP booth? Marcus, I was just about to... Convenient, because I brought some friends along and they'd love to say hello in private.